hello friends welcome back to our channel my name is kashmira hazra and today we are going to study about signals and system which is a very important subject for you uh, as for your uh, gate and ies so before starting please subscribe to our channel for more such videos and yeah let's start so basically what is a signal so we can write it as written over here a signal is a function of time which conveys information at any particular instant now you can represent it in graphically uh, represent it graphically as time versus amplitude so basically we can represent this in this manner so what does your uh, definition say a signal is a function of time okay it is a function of time which convey, conveys information at any particular instant so basically suppose at time say 2 at time 2 if we want to know what is the uh, say this is it may be current voltage whatever this amplitude okay what is your amplitude at this particular instant this particular time t equals to 2 what is your voltage or what is your current so you can mark here whatever be the amplitude here at this point this will be the information provided right so at 2 suppose this is your x x is your amplitude did you get it okay fine now what are the basic characteristics of a signal so yeah a signal can be one dimensional or more than one dimensional your signal can be one dimensional or more than one dimensional uh, for example speed speed is what it is one dimensional right it is basically a function of you can write f of t right your image image is what two dimensional you will write it as your video it is what video signal it is a 3d signal right you can again mention it as a function of 3 so signal can be the function of one or more than one independent variables fine now the second one is its randomness now how can you prove that let's suppose i equals to log of 2 One by p i, so let's take p i as one by four. Therefore, your i will be what log two, one by you get two, right? Now let's say we take now p i is equals to one by eight. So. Log two, so you get I as three. So now the formula is same, but as you are varying your p of I, your I, the value of current is changing, right? So that proves the randomness of a signal. And more the randomness in the signal, more is the signal content. Uh, an important characteristic is the bandwidth yeah now your bandwidth is uh, defined as the range of frequencies where most of the spectrum is concentrated is known as bandwidth of the signal for example you can see over here your theoretical bandwidth will be between this 2fc and your 
practical bandwidth will be f of c now note more the channel bandwidth faster will be your signal transmission in uh, our later videos we, we are ju uh, just defining the terms over here in our later videos we will learn about bandwidth clearly okay so note this more the channel bandwidth faster is the signal transmission let's see the basic classification of signal continuous or analog signal continuous time or analog signal is given by x of t and your discontinuous signal is given by x of n but in this manner and the third one is your digital signal now continuous signal or continuous time signal it is represented as cts any signal which is continuous both in your time period as well as your amplitude are known as continuous time period, continuous time signal or your analog signal now it is represented xt and t is your continuous time period now this is an example of a continuous time signal there is no space over here i mean no disc it is not discreted right so it is totally continuous from here to here it is represented by x of t is equals to t square now we will uh, study about discontinuous okay so here you can see your uh, discrete time signal which is represented as dts any signal that is continuous in amplitude but it is discrete in your time period so from the this graph you can see that your uh, signal here it is continuous in your it is continuous over here that is your amplitude it is continuous at amplitude but as you can see here there is a gap over here it is not continuous in time signal right now let's see the advantage of uh, dts over your cts so the signal more signal to noise ratio greater accuracy and as far as storage is com uh, concerned dts takes less storage as compared to your cts now what is a sampling well it this sampling is uh, it is the process of converting your your cts to dts that is converting your continuous time signal to your discrete or discontinuous time signal which is uniformly spaced in time uniformly spaced in time done it is represented as x of t you can write it like this okay this is a switch you are basically converting your continuous signal to your discrete time signal okay now let's solve a problem on sampling your continuous time signal x of t is given like this and your sampling frequency is given 200 hertz now you have to convert it into this is your cts to dts okay conversion so uh, as we read now your continuous to dts your DTS signals dts signals this thing is formula is this one so you have to convert this xt into this form your xt is given over here 5 cos 150 pi now convert this t this is continuous over here so discrete it will be n t 
टी एस माइनस ओके दिस इज गिवन इन डिग्री सो यू हैव टू ऑलवेज कन्वर्ट इन टू पाई बाई थ्री ओके डोंट कीप इट इन डिग्री फॉर्म नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू मेक चेंजेस ओवर यूर यू हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस टी एस नाउ हाउ विल यू गेट टी एस वी हैव एफ ऑफ एस राइट it is your 204 so t of s is what 1 by f of s so it is coming 1 by 200 fine so re replace this t of s with 1 by 200 we have replaced the t of s with 1 by 200 so your dts is coming as 3 pi by 4 n minus pi by 3 so basically this is your discrete time signal after sampling this is your dts after sampling i hope this is clear so we'll solve more of this kind of problem in our uh, next video until then please stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel and in the next video you will be getting more updates more solution of problems basically this was actually a basic knowledge this was to, just to give you basic knowledge on signals and system and later on after this video the from the next video of signals and system we will start with the gate problems and is problems okay so do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this video